Hi, I'm Deborah Cooney and you're watching Wellness Rocks TV. If you've been following me on Facebook, you'll know that a couple of weeks ago, I said that I was going to teach you guys how to make raw chocolate. Well, today's the day. And as you can see, I have some beautiful chocolates here in front of me, all made by my own fair hand in this kitchen very, very quickly. And the advantage of making raw chocolate is that you're going to know exactly what ingredients went into it and exactly um, how good the ingredients are. So you're in charge of the quality and also the main thing, how much sugar goes into it. So when you buy your normal bar of chocolate, you're going to get lots of sugar in there. You're not sure what kind of fats they've used. Is it good quality? Is it low grade? Who knows? And also, um, it's going to be really heated. And when it's really heated, you're going to lose all the beautiful antioxidants and enzymes and different things like that. But when you make it from scratch yourself, you are going to just really gain in nutrient value. So what we have here is 50 grams of cacao butter and 50 grams of coconut oil. And these are the oils we're going to use. So you're getting really high quality oils. Cacao butter is the oil from the cacao bean. And you'll get this in your local health food store. And I've bought it in these cool little disc shapes because they'll melt faster, but you can also buy it in a block as well. The coconut oil, you want raw, organic, extra virgin. Okay, again, your health food store will have that. The next ingredient I have is some cacao powder. I'm using two and a half tablespoons. You might need more, you might need less, depending on the intensity that you want from your chocolate. And the difference between cacao and cocoa powder is this has not been heated or it hasn't been processed. So it holds all its antioxidants and all its goodness. I also have some raw honey to sweeten. And again, I'm controlling how much sweetness I put in and I have some vanilla extract, but you don't necessarily have to use vanilla. You could use coffee extract, orange, mint, whatever you want, the sky's the limit, go crazy. And finally over here, now you don't have to add these, but I like a little bit of something in my chocolate. So I'm adding in goji berries and chopped almonds, but you don't have to do that. I have like a small handful of each in there. So 50 grams, 50 grams, two and a half tablespoons, two small handfuls, so a small handful of goji berries, small handful of chopped almonds, some honey. I'm only going to use about a teaspoon, but you might need a little bit more or a little bit less. And remember when you're putting it in that you're going to gauge that. I want you to, to be aware of the amount of sweetness that you're putting in. And finally, the vanilla extract. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to melt down these beautiful oils. So in goes the cacao butter and the coconut oil. Now, what I have done is I have put a saucepan of water on, on a medium heat. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the Pyrex jug. Now it's really important that you use a Pyrex jug or something that's heat resistant into the water. And I'm just going to create a little bambery and I'm going to put it back onto the heat. And this is going to take roughly about five to 10 minutes to melt. So that's ready now to use. And as you can see, it's all melted down and it looks gorgeous. So what I want to do now is this oil is not roasting, but it is hot, but I don't want to put in these beautiful ingredients in there until I've cooled it down a little, because remember, I want to keep all the nutrients. So what I have here is a saucepan of cold water and that's why you need to use the Pyrex dish because you're going from hot to cold and if it's an ordinary glass it might actually snap or, or burst. So I just let that cool down for a little bit and first thing I'm going to add is some vanilla extract. I'm going to use a teaspoon of vanilla. I love vanilla. Yum. And it goes, and I'm going to just check now, do a quick finger check. Okay, that's lovely. Mm. This is another advantage. You can just keep licking the bowl and everything. It's fantastic. So this has cooled down really quickly. And into that, I'm going to put in the cacao powder. And it goes. And also some honey. Now, the thing with the honey, and I've been practicing with this recipe for a good while, is when you put in the honey, you have to keep moving the oil because 
it doesn't dissolve very quickly in there and we need to keep that moving constantly. Um, once you do that and once you keep it moving, it will bind in with the other ingredients, but it takes a few minutes. So just be patient with it and it'll be worth it, I promise. So I'm using a whisk because I find this so handy. So I'm keeping this in the cold water and just whisking. So just keep whisking and what's going to happen is as it cools they're going to combine together and it'll stop the fats and the honey from separating which I found when I was making it previously they were separating and when I put it into the mold all the honey was staying on the bottom and the chocolate was staying on the top. So you need to keep this mixed and you need to let it cool it's really important. And the last thing I'm going to add in are just the gojis and the almonds. I'll put the whole lot in. Now the cooling process may take five, ten minutes, but just let it happen slowly and you'll be glad you did because at least the ingredients will combine really well for you. Just cool it down for about roughly about five minutes and now it's ready to go into the moulds. Now I'm using these cute little moulds, but you can just get a plastic container and maybe line it with some parchment paper or cling um, cling film or something like that and pour it in and then when you can take it out of the block when it's uh, solid and you can cut it up but I like these little guys so all I do is just keep stirring every now and then and just pour in and so on just keep going into the fridge for about one and a half to two hours and you will have these beautiful creations John that you can feed yourself and your family and know that you're giving them goodness also remember we are using fat here so you need to uh, be aware that you can't eat all of these so treat it as you would anything that is a bit decadent and that you're indulging in you don't overdo it you just take piece by piece or you know just take it handy with it so that's it that's raw chocolate made really simply so if you have any comments or questions please pop them into the box below and as usual, share this video out on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you're on, because people will love, love, love this one. Also, click here to sign up for my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to receive a video every week in your inbox, pop your details into the box below and I will see you then. So I'm just going to have one of these. Take care.